Okay, beneath default in the dropdown, we have Physical Sky 1 and Physical Sky 2. Now, the two Physical Sky options use the SketchUp date and time to simulate a sky gradient based on the time of day. Now, they work exactly the same way, they just have slightly different tonal qualities. So, truthfully, I prefer Physical Sky 1 during daylight hours. Um, I think it's got a nice crisp blueness that I sort of like, but toward the extremes in the early morning and the, the late night, Physical Sky 2 is a lot more realistic looking, in my opinion. Um, so let me put up a few images to show what the Physical Skies look like with different date and time settings. Okay, so I've just got a sequence of images open. I'm going to run through to show you how the light changes through the course of the day. And this is just the Barcelona Pavilion model with nothing else in it, except that I've extended a ground plane pretty far beyond the scene to act as a horizon, and we're rendering with the exterior default preset, uh, fixed resolution 1920 by 1080, and using the physical skies with 50-50 intensity and exposure. So let me go back to Photoshop, and we start here at 7 a.m. So I'm gonna go through physical sky one first, and then I'll show comparisons. So at 7 a.m., you can see we've got this nice golden light along the horizon, which is pretty representative of morning light. 8.30, the light is starting to change, getting brighter and more intense at 10 a.m. 2 in the afternoon is really pretty similar to 10 a.m., just a different shadow position. Maybe the light's a little bit less intense overall. 5 o'clock, we're starting to get longer, later evening shadows. 6.30, we've got some more of that warm, late afternoon sunlight coming in and then 8 o'clock p.m. And this is what I meant when I said the Physical Sky 1 starts to look a little bit unrealistic toward the extremes. Um, I think this is, overall, I think this is a little bit too yellow for an 8 p.m. And you'll see later that the Physical Sky 2 probably looks a little bit more realistic. Okay, so let me just go back through those quickly. 8 p.m., 6.30 p.m., 5, 2, 10, 8.30 in the morning, and then 7 in the morning. Okay, let's move on to Physical Sky 2, and I'll just try and show you how the two skies differ from one another, side by side. So, you'll immediately notice that the light level is a lot lower at 7 a.m. in Physical Sky 2, and this gradient from gold to blue is more apparent. I think the effort with Physical Sky 2 was to more accurately simulate the way light levels change throughout the day. But let's continue through the rest of the examples for Physical Sky 2. So we've got 8.30 in the morning. This is Physical Sky 2. 10. 2 o'clock. 5 in the afternoon. 6.30 in the afternoon. And 8 o'clock. Now, this is what I meant when I said toward the end of the day, I think Physical Sky 2 is looking a lot more realistic because this was Physical Sky 1. It's got a sort of nice intensity to it, um, but overall, I think this more accurately depicts what the horizon looks like shortly after sunset. But ultimately, this is really just a stylistic choice. Um, neither one of these is technically better than the other. Uh, they're both at your disposal. You just have to choose what you like better. Um, and then during the, during the mid daylight hours, so I went back to 2 p.m. here, I just want to show you sort of the key difference between Physical Sky 1 and Physical Sky 2. So this is Physical Sky 2. Overall, it's a very blue, very cyan image. Uh, if I turn this off and we go back to Physical Sky 1, you can see the blue up here toward the top of the image is a lot richer and maybe a little bit more saturated. Uh, and then along the horizon, instead of this intense white to cyan gradient, we're getting more of a lavender uh, pinkish type look. I sort of think Physical Sky 1 is more natural during the mid daylight hours. But again, they're both there for you to use. Um, I don't wanna belabor the point too much. You just have to make a choice depending on what you need. Um, so that really covers the Physical Skies. We're gonna move on to HDR image-based lighting after this. I'm only gonna mention it briefly because there's actually a series of videos specifically about that topic. Um, but let me transition back to SketchUp and we'll go from there. 